Just squeaking it in at the end of summer, Tonic Water by Mise en Cire. Hey fragrance family, I'm David. and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now I'm a big Mise en Cire fan. I've gotten to try several of their fragrances in the line. I've really been impressed with a lot of them. Alberto Morias is the perfumer of the line and he has made some truly exceptional fragrances. I think the kind of idea of a lot of the fragrances are familiar, but they're very unique in their presentation and how they pull off the fragrance. And they're very wearable at the same time. Sometimes that's a really hard balance to make and this line does it really well. Well, their newest fragrance that just came out this year is Tonic Water, and I have some things to say about it. Now, of course, if you like this type of content, definitely subscribe down below. I think you really like it here. Now, Alberto Marias is no slouch in the fragrance world. He has made some bangers in uh, the fragrance world, one of them being Aqua de Gio by Armani. You've probably heard it. <laughs> it was a classic aquatic fragrance in the 90s. I mean, it was really a sensation. Everyone had it. So he's very familiar with the aquatic genre. Well, then he made this. Tonic water is an aquatic type of scent, but it has its own kind of unique characteristics here that really separate it, I think, from other aquatics out there. I think a lot of people in the kind of fragrance world might be a little tired of aquatics. They were just really run to the ground with so many flankers and so many releases copying each other or trying to be unique but weren't really unique. This one is a little bit different. I think partly just because of the name, tonic water kind of brings up connotations of like this effervescent feeling or a minerality or almost a neutral type of feel. And that is what I get out of this scent. It doesn't smell like seaweed, doesn't smell like dead fish. It doesn't really smell like the beach necessarily. It smells like its own thing while still being aquatic. Now the performance on this I thought was pretty good. I thought the longevity was excellent, lasted a long time. The projection though, maybe a little bit less so. It seemed like it was maybe average, maybe even less than that. The bubble kind of seems like it was pretty small. I'm okay with that though. It lasted all day and I got to smell it that whole time. Now it's not a skin scent, but it doesn't really push out and touch your neighbors down the street. So it just kind of sits in that very comfortable range, which I really like. Season, obviously this is great for summer and great for spring, perfect for daytime. Occasion, I think this is great for casual, great for work too. Now notes in this are cologne, cardamom, Szechuan pepper, catchalox, cedalox, papyrus, incense, and vanilla. Now this fragrance is great. It's very wearable. It's not derivative of other aquatics out there. It's different, it's pleasant, it's nice. What I find interesting about this fragrance is the note list here is very different than what you would expect a cookie cutter type of aquatic scent. Like there's no citrus in here. There's no driftwood. <laughs> there's not even like sea salt or those traditional type of notes that you would find in a note list. Now this does have a salty smell, but it's not like they're trying to go after that normal type of formula. This does its own thing. There's not like the bitterness or the greenness or some of the kind of cliche things that are found in a lot of aquatic scents. This has almost a sweetness to it at the top. I say sweetness, I don't mean candy-like sweetness. There's just like the opposite of bitterness here. The note list has a lot of synthetic ingredients named in here. I'm not exactly sure what some of those smell like, but I know that especially Cetalox is supposed to be kind of an ambergris type of smell, which I do get in here. You do get kind of that kind of musky quality that ambergris brings here. Right at the start though, you get that kind of minerally water salty thing at the top from the, from the salt water type of smell. But it's done well. It's not too salty where it goes on to maybe a hair spray type of smell or like almost like a staticky type of smell. And there's a lot of development from start to finish as well. When it starts, you get that kind of salty, um, minerally, almost effervescent quality more reminiscent of maybe tonic water. Then you get a lot of the mids as well. I do get some cardamom in here and some incense as well. I get a hint of amber, even almost maybe like a slight vetiver thing in here. Not sure if that's maybe just the other notes kind of interplaying with that chord. Though it's not really a floral scent, there is like this kind of floral nuance that I find really appealing. And then as it dries, you go to a third phase where the musky ambergris kind of turns up some. A little bit of the papyrus woodiness kind of comes up as well. The incense quality you can smell hangs around and there's a little bit of that vanilla as well. I am not someone who really enjoys typical 
aquatic scents. I don't normally like a lot of them. I think they are kind of a tired genre. There's very few that I would even consider wearing. When this came out and I heard that it was an aquatic, I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, I hope they pull it off. And I think they did. This is a very nuanced and very balanced scent. A lot of times with aquatic scents, you don't really get a lot of progression. You don't get a lot of nuance. You get kind of a typical start, almost no mids, and then a very boring woody dry down. Not so with this one. This one has very interesting progression from start, middle to finish. I really enjoy this scent. And this fragrance was just released. So, you know, I haven't had much time with it. I kind of wish that it came out, you know, a couple months ago. <laughs> So I would have gotten even more time with this, but I'm really excited to have this and I really want to try this again when it warms up in the spring. This is clean, well put together, very refined, and very different from a normal aquatic scent. I think the name is very fitting for what this is. It's more of a tonic water and not really seawater. If you like the idea of aquatics, you like the kind of general pleasing nature of what they are, but you want something that smells very well put together, expensive, check out tonic water. I think you might like it. With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together. Great. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Fragrance Bros. Bye.